expanding on the open world design of its predecessor, Test Drive Unlimited 2 lets players drive across Ibiza and Hawaii, investing in a life of luxury. The game sputtered off the starting line with crippling server issues at launch, but if Atari's tune-up spent enough to save it from the junkyard. Tune into Solar Crown to find out. You get me there in time, and I'll get you a spot in the biggest racing competition in history. Test Drive puts its emphasis on lifestyle at the forefront, starting with a rather stiff Ibiza dance party and a few brief scenes that introduce you to the Solar Crown competition. Thankfully, the game stops trying to tell you a story after the tutorial. Progress is measured around four key categories, competition, discovery, collection, and social, encouraging you to do more than just race. You'll need to approach level 10 before you can fly to Hawaii, and exploration reveals new shops, multiplayer challenges, and houses to buy. You won't regret it. After completing license tests for different levels of competition, you can choose from an array of tournaments for asphalt, classic, and off-road vehicles, leading to multi-class cups. One cup concludes with a 45-minute lap around Ibiza, and some tournaments are followed by a duel with a slighted rival, with ugly and unimpressive bonus vehicles as the prizes. The islands feature an enormous amount of mileage with paved roadways and dusty trails. If you want experience for highlighting every stretch of the map, that task alone will take well over 20 hours. Can you please drive me to my meeting? It's urgent! Crazy Taxi-style quests have you driving from point to point with different conditions. You might have to avoid damaging a borrowed car, keep a passenger from getting sick, or tail a cheating girlfriend. I have some doubts about my girlfriend. I think she's hiding something from me. You can also earn cash by taking photographs of specific scenes and searching for hidden wrecks to assemble yet more bonus cars that aren't worth the effort. Navigating this huge environment is easy due to the fact that you can jump to any road you visited with surprisingly fast load times. GPS routing guides you to new locations and you can set bookmarks for spots to revisit. However, without city labels, you'll need to reference a real map to piece together clues for photo assignments. Test Drive's vehicle selection is over 90 strong. Cars from RUF stand in for Porsche models, but Lamborghinis, BMWs, and contemporary Corvettes are absent altogether. Here are the keys to your new car. The experience of purchasing a car is different from other games. You have to locate dealers that carry specific brands and walk around showrooms examining cars inside and out. To buy cars, you'll need garage space, which means buying houses that range from lowly trailers to extravagant mansions. Customizing your home is limited to swapping out pre-placed furnishings and displaying your photos and picture frames. You can access any vehicle you own from the garage, even if it's in another house, but there's no simple way to reorganize favorites to create a showroom for friends. The option to sell cars is buried, only appearing if you try to buy a car that you can't afford or don't have room for. Somebody needs to give you some advice on style. Hmm, come see me. I mean, after I finished beating you. Sticker and tuner shops let you modify vehicles, but you can't dig too deep under the hood with only simple options to boost acceleration, speed, and braking. Avatar choices are limited when you begin, but locating cosmetic surgeons, hairstylists, and clothing give you an opportunity to update your looks. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Yes, it seems there's some work to do. With Test Drive Unlimited 2's MMO-style design, you'll see other players whenever you're roaming about the world. Flashing your headlights will challenge them to a race randomly routed from your current location, with each player putting up their cash to ante. Scores of competitive and co-op events are scattered about the islands, and you can either drive up to a start point or choose unlocked events from the map. You can also try to post your own events to the Community Challenge Center for others to try, setting entrance fees and rewards. Like an online auction, whoever has the highest score when the challenge expires earns the reward, and the creator gets different takes depending on whether his original score held up. It's a great feature with a rush of activity as players try to one-up each other near the end. While there's an emphasis on community, major server issues have left players disconnected for weeks. Clubs were taken down almost immediately due to early exploits, and spotty matchmaking servers make it hard to link up with friends or get into races. At times, players couldn't get past the start screen, and there have been alarmingly high reports of corrupted save files. Atari is working on a major patch, but the problems have been quite trying on the community's patience. Where have you been? Do you know how long I've been waiting? I have better things to do than stand here. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, Solar Crown! Welcome to Ibiza for the first Classic Car Championship! 
Driving in Test Drive Unlimited 2 is an unpredictable middle ground between arcade and simulation styles that never feels particularly thrilling or realistic. You can grow accustomed to flying around corners and bashing through traffic, only to get a new car that slides wildly out of control if you aren't extremely gentle on the accelerator. Racing the AI is far too easy, letting you finish with enormous lead times, while speed trap events simply require you to take a different approach than the AI train. Events where you race against the clock are more satisfying, and exciting speed trials test your ability to find a route that lets you maintain high speeds while dodging traffic. While cops usually turn a blind eye, smashing into multiple cars in view of an officer starts a sad excuse for a chase mode. If other players are nearby, they can join the force, but if left to the AI, you'll simply be swarmed by vehicles flying at you head on. And if you try to ditch the pursuit by going off road, you'll automatically be arrested, even if no one's around. Racing against other players is more rewarding, of course, but Test Drive Unlimited 2's co-op events require true coordination. In Keep Your Distance events, players drive in formation above a set speed and follow the leader races, only allow one driver at a time to see the route ahead, encouraging communication to get everyone through the course. Before each competition, it's important to clear your mind. And here is your gift. Happy birthday! The visuals in Test Drive Unlimited 2 hardly do justice to the exotic settings. Car models fare the best. While they aren't particularly stunning and lack working windshield wipers, vehicles do have modeled interiors and animated convertible tops. Environments are marred by bland textures, choppy performance, and dramatic drawing, with whole forests growing in the distance. I am gonna break you! The cheesy cutscenes and snobbish personalities certainly don't make you envy this life of luxury, and reused setups make side quests quickly feel repetitive. Because of you, I'll never know where she was going. The soundtrack is presented through two radio stations with annoying DJs and spoof commercials. Using guitar, you can have access to video and classes that will make you into the guitar hero of tomorrow. There are a few obvious go-to songs from the likes of Passion Hit and Phoenix, but the playlist is full of generic filler. Bring on the fresh meat. I'm in the mood to humiliate someone new. It's gonna kill me! Test Drive Unlimited 2's flaws aren't bad enough to keep you from being sucked in to the vast amount of single-player content. The problem is that it isn't designed to be a single-player game, and the online features meant to be its biggest draw have been broken for far too long. Perhaps a brighter future awaits it, but frankly, it should have long since gotten over its crippling growing pains. Leave me alone, you vultures! Don't you creeps have any dignity? 